Hey, hey, everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called For Each Loop. And in this lecture, we're going to continue again from where we left off in our previous lecture, which was the for loop. And before that was the while loop. And this one is the for each loop, a very popular loop. And I think you will like it. So check it out. In your Code Dynamic Websites course files folder, we are in 21 for each loop. In your code editor, make sure to open up the final and practice.php files in your 21 for each loop folder in the course files folder. Practice.php is the sandbox you're going to use to build what is in final.php. Final.php, as usual, looks like this in our final example. So we have three statements. One is, I love the handlebar. Then I love the Salvador Dali. Then I love the Fu Manchu. I like this, we're revisiting the mustaches. So each of these things, we're using the for each loop to dynamically spit this text out. In order for you to understand this better, let's jump into our lecture. The for each loop. This loop is a very popular loop and is used extensively in database driven websites. The purpose of a for each loop is to loop through each key value pair in an array, W3 schools. Do you need a refresher on arrays? head back to the arrays lectures to refresh your memory. But don't worry, when you head there, I've used the PHP get request up here using a query string to make sure you head back to the for each loop lecture. All right, the syntax for the for each loop looks like so. For each array as value, and then we execute some code. Looks pretty simple. So basically, here's what happens during each loop iteration. First, assign value of current array element to value. Two, value is echoed on the screen. Three, the array pointer then moves to the next element within the array. Four, repeat from the beginning until final array element. So let's use a real world example of how to use a for each loop. So we need to create an array. So let's resurrect our array of mustaches. So mustaches, array, handlebar, Salvador Dali, and Fu Manchu. Then we're going to loop through the mustaches array. So for each, mustaches as mustache. And then output each individual value. Echo, I love the mustache break tag. So mustache contains each individual value within the array because we said in our for each loop loop through each array element in mustaches and assign each of those array elements the variable mustache and then you can output each individual one as we loop through the array and then it finishes at the end so if coded correctly this should echo the three mustaches in the in the array on your screen and as we've seen already it does in fact. So why don't we jump into our code editor so that we can see how to do this ourselves. So at this point, I thought you might be bored with doing all the constants and the variables that we're using in every single one of these uh, examples, like the echoing the title and the lesson number, so on and so forth. So I've provided that for you in this practice.php file, so you don't have to waste your time doing it. Obviously, you need to change your custom variables. Uh, the only one really you need to change is the my name variable lesson number should be good to go. All right, let's just jump into our sandbox. So let's start off with our mustaches array. And let's add some array elements. Handlebar will be the first one. And then we're going to add the Salvador Dali. After that, we will add the Fu Manchu. So there's our mustaches array. After that, we're going to use the for each loop to loop through each of these array elements. So for each, mustaches as mustache. And then we can simply output, I love the mustache break. So that's gonna say, I love the, and whatever mustache we are in, the array. So check it out in the practice.php file. There it is. I love the handlebar. I love the Salvador Dali and I love the Fu Manchu. 
as I said before, the for each loop is incredibly powerful. It's very simple, but it's powerful because you can loop through any type of array. You can loop through multi-dimensional arrays, associative arrays, all that sort of stuff. And it's used heavily in database-driven websites. But here is the basic bare-bones version of how you would use a for each loop. Hopefully that helped. See you in the next lecture.